when I purchased this QAV400, I did not buy the landing gear. They're optional uh, for the kit. So there's two types of landing gear. One are carbon fiber and one are Delrin. But what I wanted to do was design and 3D print landing gear that go on each arm and kind of slide into place on either one of these crossbars. In this video I want to show my design and then 3D print the landing gear and we'll put it on and then I plan on making them available for download from thingiverse.com. And I've measured the cross arm with the calipers. It's just a little bit over four millimeters wide. So I'll make sure to incorporate that into the design. Okay, let's take a quick look at the design in Rhino 3D. I want to talk you through a couple things that I did before I export and print it on the MakerBot. So you'll notice that I just started with a simple square. It starts down here and then I extruded it a little bit to get this U piece. It's actually extruded as a rectangle and then I drew another rectangle and cut out this area right here. So if we measure, we're looking at about four millimeters and so that gap is what's actually going to slide on to the cross arm of the QAV but I think that both sides of these of the shoe shape should be able to pinch the arm pretty nicely to secure it into place. So on the bottom you can see here that I just drew a circle and extruded it all the way down and then in the middle I drew another circle and made this cut out. So a little bit of a hollow landing gear piece to, to save a little bit of weight. And then lastly, you'll notice these filleted edges around the bottom. That just gives it a nice look. And I also did a fillet around here, here on both sides. After that, I went ahead and exported it. Now, after exporting from Rhino 3D, you have a single STL file and you'll notice here I have four legs. So what I did was I imported the STL file four times and you can move these around on the build platform to lay them out before you print them. So after doing that I went ahead and clicked make and then I exported to my SD card and then the SD card is what we're going to use to load the file on the MakerBot Replicator 2 and begin our print. Okay we have our model saved to the SD card and call it, called it QAV landing gear. So now we're gonna go ahead and print our four landing gear. Okay, you can see the start of the print. It's drawing the outlines of each of the landing gear. We're gonna print all four together. Our legs are ready, one hour and 18 minutes. Let me just pull one off and show you guys. This is a translucent type blue. So not my first choice, I'd rather have a black one, but I don't have black PLA at the moment. So you can see kind of a hollow cylinder, and this should slide right on to our QAV cross arm. So let me pull these others off, and then we'll go give these a try. Alright, so this is always the moment of truth when you design something and print it on your 3D printer. So, I've got the QAV400, and I'm going to pull off each one of these arms, and you'll notice these crossbars on our QAV arms. So, if you remember, it's about four millimeters, and I'm going to just kind of mash these on. Now, long term, I think what I'll do is in this little gap, I'll put a little hot glue or maybe some double sticky tape. And just to, just to secure it a little better, right now, these things are on pretty good. I'm using a lot of force to get them on. They're fitting nicely. I'll finish the other two. Okay, so we have our landing gear in place. Okay, we're on the bench all mounted. This thing's nice and sturdy. 
Now here's a shot of the leg clamped onto this cross arm. It's not doesn't appear to be going anywhere, but you can secure that with some sticky tape underneath or some hot glue. I'll give that a try and post my results. And my main intent is if you notice this top plate, I have a little bit of foam here and I wanted a downward facing mount for the GoPro. The GoPro 2 and we have about an inch of clearance between the ground and the lens. And that's the landing gear I designed. Rhino 3D printed on the MakerBot in PLA. I'm going to make these files available to download on Thingiverse.com and you can always, if you don't have a 3D printer, I've done a previous video that talks about MakeXYZ.com. You can definitely check that out and see if you can find someone near you with a 3D printer. So I hope you guys find this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and definitely check out GaragePilots.com where we'll be uploading more 3D printed designs for multi-rotors. And until next time, thanks for watching.